This is a quick tutorial on running the Grand Prix Race Manager software. This is the old version of the software for the Desert Ridge Mesa, Arizona stake. So to start off, you want to clear out all the data. So go to Options, Delete, and Delete Everything. Now it's going to bring up this box. You need to type in with capital letters YES, capital YES. Uncheck this box to save. We don't want to have any backup. And hit OK. And all data is deleted. So it's all cleared out. You definitely want it all cleared out. Now we want to make sure our Excel spreadsheet is ready. So click on this folder, this uh, Excel file. It's a comma separated values. And here you can input all the information of through your racers last name, first name. Um, we have DV for Desert Valley Ward or someone, but you know you can you can put in a different ward there. Put the car number, and uh, so that's that's kind of the basic information. Add add everything you want here. I'm just going to make a quick change here, so it will save again when I close it down. So put all your racers in there, then go up to the top here, close it down, save the file. And I'm just going to save it under the same name, replace the existing file, and keep that format. Yes, the comma separated values format. So it's all closed. So now let's scroll down here to the bottom and open up the Grand Prix software again. Now you notice at the bottom that menu, because this is such a small computer, that menu will disappear unless you take the mouse all the way down to the bottom and open it back up. So let's find, let's uh, set up and import the data. So you could, you could probably go new right there, uh, but the easiest is probably just go to registration. So click on the registration button and over on the right hand side here, click import. Import the data, browse for the file, and let's go to the desktop. That's where we saved where we saved that file was on the uh, desktop. Actually, it opened up right here. So we'll pick that same file that I just closed down here and import. So everything's going to pop up here. So all the data is in, and uh, then you always want to select the like here. Desert Valley Ward or whatever. If you put any information there, you always got to select that before you make a thing. So now uh, go over to the right side here and we're going to generate a uh, or uh, schedule. We're going to schedule a race. So the best is perfect in type. That's going to give you a big random, um, you know, you're going to race a variety of, race, uh, of people. So use the, oh, yeah, make sure that's selected over there. Schedule a race. And I like to do, uh, there's, there's that many cars, I like to do two races per car per lane. So in this case, uh, four lanes, two races, we will each have eight races. So generate, and it's all good, we'll save it. Do we want to view it or print it or anything? No, just keep moving forward. Now it's all set. Schedule's in. So now we can go to the racing. Select racing and it's going to be all set up here. So I have a bunch of kids playing in the background. Let's see if this works. So here's race number one and it shows who's on deck for race number two. And next, actually no, that's the first race. We don't need to put next. So hit, hit the previous button. Previous. Yeah, see we, we're on race number one. Okay. So ready timer. It's going to go red and then yellow. When it hits yellow, it's all set. So the guy at the gate could run a race. So I'm gonna have my buddy over here. He's gonna run a race. Now there's only two cars, so we'll, we'll make sure they're running. You gotta let the timer go all the way through to the completion before he resets it. So we're gonna run two cars. Now I apologize, I had to, I had to do a uh, voiceover on this uh, video because the kids racing were so loud. So this is a voiceover, but He's letting that run all the way to 9.999 and there you go. So the, the races are all registered and he can flip the gate up 
Then after that, we can hit next, next, and ready timer. It will go to heat two. Ready timer is gonna go red and then yellow and we're all set. So here's where I, here's where I turned and uh, told you some more stuff. Like I said, I'm doing a voiceover because these kids are so loud and crazy, but basically uh, have fun and enjoy and it's not that hard to set up the software and uh, afterwards okay let's go through here afterwards when it's all done you close that down we'll go to results now we only did one race so it's got one race here but you would see all the races and all the results now I clicked on uh, the final results and standings standings it gave you a warning message but in the real video it would have given you a message like uh, here, you know, one through however many. You got 20 cars in there, it will give you one through 20 all in order. If you break it down by pack, you could also break it down by pack. But uh, that's kind of the basics. Then when we're done, uh, for the next ward, let's close out everything. So delete all the material, capital Y-E-S. We don't need a backup. And okay, and okay. The data is completely cleared and out. That's pretty much it. So now you can hand out some awards, have fun, and for some of my other videos on building tips, click on my links I have highlighted here, lots of other, other videos to help you out.